Good morning, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop. Um, and uh, this morning we're going to talk about uh, counterboring and, um, and, and, bush, and bushing up. Uh, in this case we've got a, um, a casting where the seat for the bearing was flogged out and uh, we had to bore this out and make a bush for it. So we're in, the, in that process and um, what we're going to do is to show you how we go about taking these measurements. Now, we can't take the measurement with the ordinary vernier um, simply because the leg won't reach the, into the depth. So we have to use other methods. Um, and then uh, from there ascertain what we're going to do as far as the dimension for the OD of the bush is concerned. Um, so that's one, one, uh, one facet of it. And the other one is um, working with the hollow bar. Uh, in this case, the, the material I needed to bush up was quite, um, quite large. Let's see if you can see that there. Quite a, quite a heavy piece. And we have to reduce quite a lot of material out of it. Um, and it's still not finished, but I've, I've deliberately taken this out of the lathe in order to demonstrate uh, what I'm, what I'm uh, talking about. I've, I've discussed this before uh, in previous jobs, but uh, when, you re when you remove so much material, uh, and in this case we're probably removing about 90% of the, of the weight of the hollow bar in that section where we're making the bush, um, the, there's a, a, um, a change <coughs> in the makeup and there needs to be relief from the um, from the stresses it's within, and it changes its shape fractionally. Now, what I do is I bore the internal bore, or it doesn't matter which one you start with, but I, I inter the internal bore to within uh, say a millimeter of um, uh, of my of my finished uh, diameter, and I machine all the outside out. And uh, hit, at this point in time, we're five millimeters above diameter, we're one millimeter below diameter uh, ID is against OD and then I've let it I've let it settle uh, in this case it's already been a couple of days but uh, I took it out of the uh, out of also because I had other work to do um, now when I've set it back up into the lathe again and I go to machine it um, all those stresses that were there have, have been released and uh, well now I'll now be in a situation where I'll be able to machine it accurately and it's not going to move anymore um, because if you machine the final di dim, whether it be the external or the internal on a heavy, heavy reduction like this, um, and then you go and do the other side, do the other one, you'll find you've got a deviation of what of the dimension that you thought you had beforehand. So that's as far as that's concerned. Now, so how do we go about measuring the bore inside here? Well, there are a number of methods. One method we could use um, is this um, this one, this uh, vernier that I have here with the long noses on it uh, and with these verniers of course the, the this particular case whatever you whatever your measurement is let me see what this we get it onto there it'll take a second it'll focus up so whatever measurement we we get here we have to add 20 millimeters if we're doing internal measurements. So we can go along there and we can measure that up and that'll give me the internal diameter. But with this old fella, uh, made in USSR, if we can see that, made in USSR. Um, anyway, this one here is more for general measuring and it only measures to 0.1 millimeter. Uh, so that's not really accurate enough in my uh, in my books for doing a bush like this so then I, the other option is to go to my other vernier and this vernier is, is accurate to um, uh, to within a, a thousandth of an inch this one's good for a I'll just see if that's going to focus itself come on Anyway, on the top, the upper scale is to a thousandth of an inch, and the lower scale, 0 0.02 millimeters. 
So we, we get in there and we set her up. And I had this in here before. Um, there we go. So that was, uh, and the adjustment, the fine adjustment of course is with this, with this uh, toggle here. You lock this one in place and then you fine adjust with this fella and then you can, me you can measure off the scale. So that's the other option we've got in those deep, uh, deep pockets. The next option we've got is, um, is, is by using these telescopic gauges. And with a telescopic gauge, and we've shown that in previous movies, and so uh, so has um, uh, quite a few others, including uh, Adam. And uh, we, we set that inside here, locked up at an angle, and then we drop it down, uh, and that gives us that gives us a lock. And then you can measure that either with a either with a caliper, either with a vernier caliper, or you, you could use, like in this case, I've got the micrometer on the stand. Let's see if we can uh, see that better. We've got, I've got my micrometer on this uh, on this stand, which can be adjusted. That's made by Vertex in Taiwan. Um, and then, then what we do is we uh, we measure that in the micrometer, and that's going to give us. An, a very accurate measurement uh, in this case to one hundredth of a millimeter uh, for the the ID there and we can then add our tolerances for making the for machining down uh, the OD of the bush um, another option we have for measuring the internal internal diameter is with uh, with this uh, internal micrometer and uh, then once again it's we can easily if we want to we can we can uh, check check measure that and both of them come up to be exactly the same so, if, uh, so there there we have it we've got those those options and we use this option uh, if we um, if we're measuring with the telescopic unit but we can also just do a check measure if we want to and vice versa when we come to the other directions. So at that point in time, we, I, I should show you the rest, the rest of my metrology. Now this, this particular uh, internal internal micrometer is a Moore and Wright set. Uh, Moore and Wright, made in Sheffield, England. Um, I've had this. I've had this set uh, for. Um, since about 1964, uh, this, this set bought brand new. Uh, it cost me a lot of money in those days, um, but a lot of my savings. The, um, uh, the other telescopic, um, telescopic gauge is just one of those uh, uh, kit sort of things, uh, um, which uh, you can buy anywhere really. Um, now the other thing we have to do also is to measure the depth, so we know how thick we want to make the um, we want to make the bush. So we'll know how much we want to cut the bush off at. Uh, so one one option is to use the vernier and to measure from the heel to the toe of the uh, of the slide. That's that's one option we've got. Another option we can use for measuring that and. Uh, one of my preferred options for depth wherever I can um, is to use this is to use this um, this depth gauge. And this one here is a digital one. Uh, this will read up to 500, 500 millimeters or twenty inches. You, know, you can change that. You can you can change that over from uh, uh, millimeters to uh, to inches. Um, so you cross over, so that's 2.3875 uh, inches or 60.64 millimetres in this case. Um, so we can, I like this because you can get a good steady uh, positioning with it. And um, in this case we do it like that. We can bring it in and we can, we can measure the depth and we can get, we can get our, our depth from that. Um, and the other option, and that's quite accurate. And the other option, of course, is to use uh, to use the uh, micrometer 
my chromatic depth gauges. This one is a Meta Toyo, uh, and this one's to a thousandth of an inch. Um, so, and that's part of this kit, part of this Meta Toyo kit here with all different anvils in it. Um, and in this case, we're going to need the number three anvil. So we're going to do number three anvil, so we'll unscrew the head off. We'll take out that number one uh, anvil, slide in the number three anvil. And we can go ahead and measure the depth with this. And, and with this one, of course, has got a much smaller anvil uh, than the than that of, of the digital uh, unit. But I use this one uh, quite a lot where I don't, uh, where I've got large holes or things like that. It's quick and easy. Um, so uh, uh, this uh, this set, as I say, is a uh, is an imperial set. I have a smaller, a uh, couple of sizes that without interchangeable anvils. Uh, they are they're metric, so it really doesn't matter whether we use imperial or we use metric. Um, we'll get the same results. And so um, there we have it for most of my um, most of my little implements here. And while we're at it, I'll show you one more uh, item, not not required for this job, but this is also a more and right set. And this set uh, is a set of internal uh, ball gauges. And this set goes from um, quarter inch to half inch. Uh, quarter inch to half inch, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. And uh, some of you would have seen these before. They have these little little balls, and they are uh, they protrude out as you wind as you wind the screw up. They they spread out, and then you measure with a micrometer on the other side. And this one here is 0.375 to 0.5 inch, or uh, 9.6 to 12.7 millimeters, uh, because it doesn't matter here. We're not re we're not measuring off a scale. We are miking it, so it, it, it works in both ways. So the great advantage of using uh, these and the, um, uh, and the telescopic gauges is that uh, it doesn't matter which, whether, whether you're working with <coughs> excuse me, whether, whether you're working in inches or metric, um, it makes no difference because you can, you can pick up either with that. Of course, we've got now the new verniers that are very, uh, very, very good, uh, um, and they uh, they measure also in fractions, so you can get them in metric, in uh, imperial, uh, both in uh, thousandths of an inch or in uh, millimeters, um, uh, up or 0.2 of a 0.02 of a millimeter or 0.01 of a millimeter even. So there we have it. So we're very, um, uh, we'll we'll move on. We've got to now take this bush and make it fit and uh, deliver this tomorrow to the client. So we're going to have a bit of machining going on uh, today sometime um, and uh, we, might, uh, we might capture that as well, machining it down to the final dimensions. Thank you very much.